Hello, my name is Rachel Green. I'm sorry I can't be with you today, um, but I work for the Careers and Enterprise Company as an education manager and have recently taken over as the lead on our primary work. Having previously held the role of a primary head teacher, this is something very close to my heart. And my priority in this work at the moment is to support schools with the effective use of the excellent resources on our primary platform, which I'll talk about shortly, and to gather feedback to guide my thinking on how best to develop our work in the future. The mission of the Careers and Enterprise Company is to prepare and inspire young people for the fast changing world of work. Um, much of our work focuses on supporting careers leaders in secondary schools, SEN schools and FE colleges in England to deliver world-class careers provision based on the world-class standards that are the Gatsby benchmarks. So why do we also work with primary? Why is this important to us? Well, careers related learning in primary school is, is not simply talking about jobs. It's not asking a nine year old to decide what their future career pathway looks like. Instead, it's about ensuring that they have the opportunity for regular conversations that challenge stereotypes, broaden their horizons and raise their aspirations in a range of ways. We want children to be curious and to be inspired about what their futures could hold. We want them to start to see the connection between the learning they do in school and the world of work, to recognise the importance of their learning and to understand that the skills they're developing now um, and how they will uh, impact on their future roles. Extensive research has been carried out and has helped us to recognise that secondary schools may well be way too late as most young people have already started to form their views around stereotypes and what may be possible for their futures well before they even set foot inside a secondary school. Starting younger gives us the chance to enable young people to be more careers ready as they enter secondary school so that by the time they, they make that transition, they already hold positive views and aspirations for themselves. So, our work is based on some key principles um, that we believe outline good provision at primary. And they're two mutually reinforcing sets of principles. And the first of these are derived from a What Works report that the Careers and Enterprise Company produced in partnership with education and employers in 2018. The report identifies six key lessons of good career practice at primary level. And these principles help to guide the, the sort of strategic thinking and planning process when approaching career related learning in primary schools. And they're an essential part of ensuring a sustainable and manageable approach. These principles are to ensure the support and involvement of senior leaders, to start early and fully embed careers related learning into the curriculum. As with all primary learning, activities should be personalised and differentiated, accessible to all and, where possible, to involve employers and parents. The second set of principles are the skills builder principles. Now, skills builder principles outline the best practice in terms of teaching the eight essential skills, and these help to shape the design and delivery of careers related learning. Used together, these models can inform an excellent overall whole school approach to challenging stereotypes and broadening aspirations. Our primary careers platform forms our central offer of support to primary schools and it was launched just a few weeks ago. It's been very well received by the sector and I'd like just to take a couple of minutes to take you through the key features. There are three key features on the primary platform the first of which is a school self-assessment quiz, um, and it's really proven one of the most popular resources. It requires an understanding of what career related learning actually is, but it's a really great place to start no matter where you are on your journey. So the quiz was designed in partnership with Skills Builder, and it's based on the two mutually reinforcing sets of principles I outlined previously. The quiz asks you to reflect on what happens at your school, has 21 questions and should take about 15 minutes to complete and at the end you'll get some really great examples of where things are going well and some suggested starting points for making improvements. 
is divided into three parts, exploring planning, delivering and measuring. So even if you're not aware of any current uh, career related learning going on within your school, it will spark ideas and reflection on current practice and help you to recognise potentially how much is already going on or what could be easily adapted to form part of careers related learning plan for your school. It will help you to consider your long term goals for pupils learning and how career related learning could fit within this. The second major feature on the platform is the plethora of resources. We have several hundred resources available for you to use, each with its own user guide. And the resources range from CPD for teachers, guides to engaging employers, full schemes of work for year groups, through to ready to use videos, podcasts and resources. They're fully searchable and tagged, um, much like you'd find on the TES site. Uh, to help you search for resources that meet your needs quickly. So you can search by age range, employment sector, type of resource um, to find what you need, as well as just being able to search as you would on Google. The third key feature to mention is the wealth of case studies, including those from um, East Sussex Hub. And we currently have 20 varied case studies that bring to life different approaches to career related learning. Each case study links through to related resources so that you can adapt what inspires you to suit your setting. The platform and all the resources are absolutely free for you to access and we hope that bringing together quality resources in one place will help primary colleagues to know there's a one stop shop where trusted resources can be found. We're always keen to hear your feedback, especially to help us shape the additions we plan to build in over the coming months. So do please get in touch via the email address on screen if you have any feedback once you've started to use the platform. Over the next few months, I'm working on exploring how the transition process from primary to secondary could incorporate career related learning. So this project is about bringing together examples of where this is already happening, highlighting ways in which existing resource could be utilised to support the transition process and to give both primary and secondary colleagues inspiration on the part career related, lear career -related learning could play on this process. So at the moment, I'm talking to a huge range of people who've been involved in both primary work and transition work to get a picture of what already exists, what's in development and any learning or advice they can offer as I begin to scope out what this project will look like. I see three clear themes that could be explored in a transitions project. So self-awareness, the sort of who am I, what do I enjoy, what am I good at and, and so what the opportunity awareness, what is out there for me? What can I aspire to and what different routes are there for me to take? And then skills awareness, what kinds of skills will be useful to me in the future? And what skills do I have? Why am I learning what I am in school and, and how will this help me in the future? Now, I understand this may be something that you as a primary hub will explore and I'd be really interested to work with you uh, and to gain learning from your experience. So I'd be keen to hear your thoughts or ideas, find out what may already be happening in this space. Um, and if you see any examples of good practice or resource that you would be happy to share with us so that we can share that nationally, I'd be really keen to hear from you. So please, please do feed this through to me via Wendy. Uh, and I look very much forward to seeing you, if not in person, then virtually in the future to work on this project together. Thank you so much and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your session.